Today we're going to be talking about pitch, slope, grade, and angle. I'll show you how they're related and then how to calculate between them. As an example, if you know the pitch on a particular roof, I'll show you how to get the exact angle for that particular pitch. And to do that, we're going to be using a normal smartphone calculator. This one is from an iPhone. And I'll also show you how to do it on a more trade-based calculator. This is the Construction Master 5 by Calculated Industries. Uh, this particular calculator, and they have a lot of different calculators for different trades as well, but this particular calculator uh, does a lot of different functions with very minimal input. And so you don't, you don't have to know the formulas that you necessarily have to know in order to use the iPhone calculator. So let's get started with pitch. Okay, so pitch is just a ratio of a rise over the run. So if you have a run, and normally this is here in the U.S. is done for 12 inches. So it's 12 inches of run, and then you would input your rise. So if you have, we're going to use the example of a 712 pitch. So our, our ratio would be 7 over 12. This is how you would write it down. 7 over 12 will be what our pitch is. Now, Slope is just the decimal form of that number. So if we take our calculator and we take 7 and we divide by 12, that will get us 0.583 repeating. So the slope for that pitch, 5.833 repeating. Now, gray is a percentage. You'll find this in roadways. And usually that's done uh, a certain amount of grade for every 100 feet. So if you go down the road and you see a sign that says 8% grade, that means that the rise over the run, the run is 100 feet, and the rise is 8 feet over that 100 feet. So it's just calculated as a percentage. So to get the percentage of this, you would take the 0.583 repeating and you just multiply it by 100 and that will give you the percentage. So 58.33 repeating percent. So that says that the seven, the rise is 58% the length of the run. Now when it comes to angle, that's a little different. Uh, now we have to use trigonometry functions. And so this is usually taught, the formulas for this are usually taught phonetically. So an educator will usually uh, teach this uh, as SOKATOA. So SOKATOA. And these are the different trig functions. So you have sine, cosine, and tangent. And they're written like this. So if we know sine of an angle, theta, and I'll explain this in just a second, that is equal to the ratio of the opposite side over the hypotenuse. And if we know the cosine of a given angle, theta, then that is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And finally, the last one is your tangent of angle theta will equal the ratio of the opposite side over the adjacent side. So this is true in right triangles. So this is right triangle calculations or ratios. So if we have our pitch here, is our 712 so 7 and 12 now let's say we need to to solve for this angle so this is our angle theta and all theta is is a greek letter to distinguish an angle that we don't yet know the value of so in this formula we have two pieces of information so with those two pieces of information we can calculate what this particular angle is of course we have to do the inverse of that and i'll show you how that's done so for this, we know uh, for this angle, this side would be the opposite side because it's this. Uh, let me step back a second. The right angle of a triangle directly opposite of that, this side will always be the hypotenuse. This is the H in all of our formulas. If we're solving for this angle, then this side that makes up part of this angle is the adjacent side. And the side the uh, opposite of it will be the opposite side. And so that's how you figure out which formula you need to use. So in our case, we're trying to solve for the angle theta, and we know the opposite and the adjacent side. So this is the formula that we will be using. So now we're going to plug those values in there. So tangent of theta, or tangent of that angle, the unknown angle, is equal to 
uh, 7 over 12. Okay, so in order to do this, uh, we have to isolate the angle. So what we need to do is take the tangent to the other side of the equation. So that would look like this. So when you take the tangent or cosine or sine across the equal sign, then it will become the arc tangent or the arc cosine or the arc sine. So the way that's written is tangent negative 1 of 7 twelfths or 7 over 12. And now we've isolated the angle and this is the value that we need to come up with. Now, sine, cosine, and tangent, and then arc sine, arc cosine, uh, and, uh, and arc sine are numbers that are stored in your calculator. So if we open up the calculator and we turn this, down here we'll see sine, cosine, and tangent. But because we move this across, now we need the arc tangent of this particular ratio. So in order to do that, you just hit the second, and that will bring up sine to the negative one, cosine negative one, and tangent to the negative one. Those are the arc sine, arc cosine, and arc tangent. So now all we have to do is plug in the values. So we do, in the iPhone it's a little different. You have to do the, uh, the ratio first. So we'll have to do seven by 12, hit the equal sign. Oh, excuse me, seven divided by 12, hit the equal sign, and that's our 0.583 repeating. Now all we have to do is hit the second, make sure that we are hitting the arc tangent, and that will give us our degree. So our degree is equal to approximately 30.25 degrees. That is how you get the, uh, the angle for when you know the rise over the run. So for 30, and then if you go backwards, okay, so if we take that off, now we know that degree exactly. And if you were to hit tangent, then that's going to go back to that ratio, the 7 over 12 ratio, which is 0.583 repeating. So it's fairly easy once you get the hang of it. Uh, if you haven't done a lot of trig, then it can be a little... Uh, it can be a little tough to grasp at first, but it's actually pretty intuitive. So that's how you calculate using the pitch, how you get the angles of each of those uh, different pitch numbers. So on your common rafter square, you have all these listed. So for your 112 pitch, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 20. And if we go to our example, you can see that the 7 is at 30.25 degrees. So with any angle that you don't know, if you know the rise and the run, your formula will be the angle is equal to the, oh, excuse me, the arc tangent. Let me rewrite that. Your angle is equal to the arc tangent of your rise over your run. And that's how you calculate it. So it's pretty easy to, to get, and that's how they come up with all these values. So we can do another one, and I'll show you that these are actually not exact, but they're rounded to the nearest quarter degree. So let's do, uh, let's do 5 over 12. So if we do 5 divided by 12, which is our pitch, and then we hit second, and then we do arc tangent, you'll see that's 22.619 degrees. And here on the rafter square, it's listed as 22 point five zero degrees so this is a just a basic rundown of how you get from pitch to angle now let's do it with the other calculator okay so now we're going to take those same values that we have for our example our 712 pitch and we're going to put them into the construction master 5 i'll show you how easy this is to do so seven inches of rise 12 inches of run then all we have to do is hit the pitch button, and that's going to give us our degree, and it's going to round it up a little bit, but 30.26 degrees. If we hit pitch again, that's going to give us our grade, 58.3%. If we hit pitch again, it's going to give us our slope at 0.583 repeating. And if we hit pitch again, then it's going to go back to our 7, which is 7 over 12 that give us our pitch. Now, from this, we can also just hit diagonal, and that's going to tell us exactly the length of the hypotenuse, 13 and 29 30 seconds. And you can set these up to round to the nearest 16th, nearest 32nd, nearest uh, 64th if you want, whatever, whatever variable you want to put in there. And then you can take that number, and if you want to convert it in decimal form, you just hit convert inches. And very quickly, that comes becomes 13.89 inches. And then if you wanted to convert it into feet, just hit feet. 
uh, you could put it in their decimal form, hit convert feed again, and that'll put it in its fractional form. So these calculators are really, really intuitive to use. And with the same information, we were able to find each of those values a lot quicker in this more trade-based calculator, the Construction Master 5. And like I said before, Calculated Industries has a lot of different calculators, and I'll list some of those the links for these down below. If you are in the trades, uh, the getting the one that's trade specific to you is is an absolute incredibly valuable tool uh, you can figure and that's just the tip of the iceberg of what you can do with these they can do stairs and risers and board feet and do all kinds of circles for area for circumference uh, just a, a number of different things that you can do very very quickly with this type of calculator well i appreciate you taking the time to watch and i hope that you have a better understanding of what the difference is between pitch slope grade and angle and then how to convert from pitch to angle and then back again i appreciate you watching i'll see you in the next one